Hey everyone, welcome to Life Thoughts Camera YouTube channel. In today's educational video, I will be talking about colors, mainly the different techniques of choosing and of course some basics. You can apply these principles for many different situations. For example, new art, fashion, home decor, infographs and much more. I myself am not very artistic. I have trouble with many things. But today I'm going to share what I've learned regarding picking the right colors. Just learn which A plus B color gives color X and you're halfway there. Basics of color. In basic, I will be talking about primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary colors are basic colors that can be mixed together to produce other colors. The primary colors are usually considered to be red, yellow, and blue. The three secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. They are created by mixing two primary colors. And the other six tertiary colors are created by mixing primary and secondary colors. These colors are obtained only when the purest form of each color is used which is called a hue. I will talk about the hue later on. The color wheel. This should be a best friend who's always around to help you. A color wheel is a circular graph chart which shows the primary, secondary, and tertiary color. And of course, the respective hues, tints, tones, and shades. I know you must be wondering what are hues, tints, tones, and shades. I will dive into them soon. The wheel helps with choosing the color. It helps with matching and also helps with something like should it be a dark red or a bright sharpie red. Hue. The first point. All primary and secondary colors are hues. Rule to remember here is that two hue primary colors combine and create a secondary color. Example, hue blue and hue yellow gives hue green. Tint. The easiest way to explain this is that a tint is the opposite of a shade. And the second point to remember is that you will get a different tint when you add white. So a color can have a range of both shades and tints. Tone. Now if you have used any editing app for your photos, you would have come across the word saturation, which is another word for tone. It is called saturation because it is uh, digital editing. If you are doing a painting, then it is referred as a tone. Shade. When a black is added to a hue, it gives a shade color. How to choose a color or a color scheme? First, pick a color. As the name suggests, first, you pick a color. Any color. Example, you want to paint the baby's room, but don't know the gender of the baby. So you pick a purple, which is a mix of blue and pink. Now I'm going to show you a combo. I'm going to place the purple in the middle and surround it with another color. Did you notice that the one on the left seems to just blend in, but the combo on the right makes the purple have more depth? This method will help you choose the colors for creating combos. After you mix and match, this will not only help you decide what color combinations you like, but also help you decide if you still want to keep the main color, which is purple. Using complementary colors. To explain this, I'm going to use a digital color wheel. This is achieved by choosing two colors that are direct across from each other on the color wheel. Among the two colors, pick one as a main and the second one as an accent in your design. Using monochromatic colors in the same hue. With this technique, you can easily select a mix of color between light and dark colors which is based on various shades and tints of one hue color. This technique is not best for creating a popping color combo. Using analogous colors. With the help of a wheel, pair one main color with the two colors that are directly next to it on the color wheel. Once you have the hang of it, you can also add two additional colors, which are found next to the two outside colors. If you want to use a five color scheme instead of just a three color scheme. Using triadic color. This is done by picking three colors that are equally placed in lines across the color wheel. If you want one main color, you can go a few points down for the other two colors. Using a split complementary color. A split complementary technique includes one dominant or main color and the two colors directly adjacent to the dominant color's complement. 
This is best suited for getting a contrast color combination. Final tips. If you create or see color combinations with say five colors, it doesn't mean you have to use all the five colors. If you have a favorite or two or even more colors and a professional stylist says they clash, they don't look good or not to use them. Well, consider their opinion, then factor in yours. If you are still crazy about your choice of colors, then just go for it. You're using the color you love for yourself. Just have fun with it. If you're interested in lifestyle, do check out my other videos. Now, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.